Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Annavella. Today is Wednesday and normally I do a midweek check-in but I haven't read that much and there's only two books that I can talk about. One is a five star read and one is a hard DNF. Which one is it you think? Which one did I give five stars? This one or that? This is a five star read. This is the new Sandro Veronese. Sandro Veronese is the author of uh, Quiet Chaos, uh, XY, I believe, uh, The Hummingbird, which was mm, mediocre, popular. And this one is his new one. It is written with a cause or for a cause together with Eduardo de Angelis because this is not only a book but also a movie that is in full production. This is a marvelous story. I want to talk about this book a little bit more on Sunday but I give you a very short insight. So Commander is a guy who is a captain on a dive boat in the first first world war or second second world war and of course italians he is italian of course and they were uh, teaming up with the uh, nazis so mm -hmm, they weren't very okay and at a certain point they had to have to sink a boat that was uh, driving, uh, sailing at night without any lights on and uh, mostly that means that they were smuggling or doing something illegal. So they sank the um, ship, the vessel, and they went up again and they saved the crew. And that wasn't, that was a against the orders of uh, his superiors and of the code there. Now, why do I tell this? This is a story that is well known in Italy. And he wrote this book to make people aware that no matter what happens and no matter the circumstances, we have to stay human. Sandro Veronese is um, very active when it comes to saving uh, refugees that come over from Africa with boats. So many people that have drowned, like very recently the 500 people that drowned uh, for the coast of Greece. Hardly anybody talked about it because at the same time there were a couple of billionaires uh, imploding near the Titanic. And this is to show, he wrote this book together with the director of the movie. This is proof that humanity is a proof of culture. It is a proof of being civilized no matter what the circumstances and although he did not listen to his superiors he was ordered to actually to dive again and leave the scene as quickly as possible he decided to take the crew and to um, bring them to the nearest airport uh, airport um, harbor that was that was safe for the Italians and that took two days of sailing well, sailing uh, <laughs> underwater and that was in very harsh conditions because of course there's no room everything it, it's a sardine box you know and uh, I really 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 loved this story it is short, it is too short for me. Um, this story could have gone on and on and on. Um, 
it is marvelous. This is uh, the Sandro Veronese that I love and that I respect. And no more weird stuff. This is a very good story told in a loving and very talented way. Beautiful prose, not too flowery, just <clears throat> it has so much heart. And that's why I love this book so much. Um, for me, of course, this is a five star read. I hope this comes out soon in English. I have no knowledge of it. I uh, know it's just in, um, in Italian, it's called Comandante. In Dutch, it's Commandant. I know it's already translated, I believe, in German. Not 100% sure, but anyway, it's very easy. It will be translated, but it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And it's just actually, they, they, they just dig up this story to tell a story about awareness and, and, and being human. This one. And then the DNF. Niklas Nat Ortag. He wrote The Wolf and the Watchman, uh, is the English title. And uh, uh, 1793 is the original title. And um, yeah, it, 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 it has very high ratings. A lot of people that I follow loved this book, at least four stars, even more. And I hated it. I, I just didn't like it. It has the same vibe as The Perfume by Patrick Suskind. It's very grim, so very grim, very uh, dark, uh, gritty, uh, the smells and the, uh, the pus everywhere, blood. Um, yeah, very grim, but there's a lot of action in this book and a lot of things happen, but not necessarily to propel the story forward. It's more action to let us know how much research he has done and how, how well he knows the period. I knows the time the, the, what happened in um, Sweden in 1793. It was a very rough time for the people. Uh, Gustav III, I believe, just died, uh, the king. And a couple of years back, there was the um, French Revolution. And we all know um, what happened to those kings and queens. So yeah, a lot of things ha were happening. Uh, there was a lot of insecurity and uncertainty and uh, yeah. So a lot of things happened that would normally never happen in Sweden. Um, I DNF'd it halfway because I really knew that this book could have been told a hundred pages uh, with a hundred pages less. I also felt one trick pony. That was something that came up. And uh, when I look at Goodreads, of course, there's also a, a, 90, a 1794 and a 1795, and the ratings go down really quickly. So you just know it is a one trick pony. And um, I never be believed the story. Um, although it's horror and uh, gothic, I really like the genre, but for this, to me, it didn't work. And it was too much action without um, direction. And I really need that. I quickly pick up on those things and a lot of things were on the nose. And yeah, no, this, this wasn't for me and that's why I DNF'd. And, and talking about DNFing, DNF is did not finish, of course. There are a lot of reasons why I DNF. Not that I have a habit of uh, not finishing a book, but sometimes I DNF a book because I'm not in the right state of mind, that I feel that I, I'm in a wrong, the wrong headspace to really appreciate the book. 
and that happens and I put it aside but that's not really a DNF because I I know that I will try to reread it in a later time then I hard DNF for this one and sometimes I even DNF really big books at 10 pages before the end because I'm just fed up with the story and I don't care anymore how it ends. That really, really happens. It happens. So sometimes I'm so angry with um, the author that they drag the story along and I say, oh bloody hell, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna do something more interesting with my time. So yeah, but normally I don't really DNF. I read fast enough to plow through a book and, and not to DNF, but on the other hand, my time is valuable and there are so many books I want to read and that I have and they are calling for my attention and why shouldn't I read uh, other books if another book bores me or I just feel that for me it just just doesn't work. So for me the 1793 will be at the highest a borrow book but I this one I won't put in the bin but in the little library I think or I will try to sell it although it isn't in mint condition because I got it out of the little library maybe I'll just put it back I will put it back so yeah that's it um, I hope you can quickly enjoy Sandro Veronese's new work it is beautiful brilliant and full of compassion and it talks about courage and daring to go against your orders just because you know that you are civilized and you don't want to be part of uh, the madness of war even though it is your job so that's it thank you for watching i hope you have a great reading week Tell me what you're reading. I'm really curious. If you have any reading tips for me, let me know. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.